you've had quite considerable amount of interest in this work and uh, Fickers yes. seem to play quite a part in this one quite unexpectedly. Tell me about it. Yes, um, I had a little exhibition in Wendover and an acquaintance of mine who was training for the priesthood um, came in and saw it and um, she was very taken with it and um, a few weeks later she rang me and she said, Pat, I cannot get those pylons out of my mind. She said, it's the Holy Trinity. And I thought, well, yes, maybe maybe she's got something. Maybe she's got something there. Yes. And yes. of course it's energy, it's all about energy it's all fields, about energy isn't it? It's energy and it's three um, views of the same pylon which also added to the no. fact, you know, three in one and everything. And uh, yes, so she bought it from me and I've done another, a couple more. And it's in a very clergy. interesting process that you use, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's yes. Um, it's a marbling background. Um, I mix oil paint with turps, and then I make um, a medium to float it on using a food thickener that, you, that they use in uh, toothpaste. And you float the ink, the oil, on, on top of this medium, and then lay the paper on top, and you get the, um, the background. And then the... Um, the photo transfer, it's, um, that's a, a process I learned at a summer school at the Slade. Um, you coat a photograph with um, a medium, an acrylic medium, and transfer it onto the, uh, onto the background. It is a bit hit and miss. It does, it does take quite a bit of doing. You, you, uh, you end up throwing away more than you, than you keep. 